Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Crusader Kings 2 when the world stopped making sense. And uh, we are continuing our English campaign by attacking the enemy's forces in uh, our capital, because that is what happens with Crusader Kings 2 these days. And uh, up here, we're doing, we're doing fairly well, I think. We are starting to siege down some of his land. We are at a negative war score with this guy. That's the guy we're fighting right now, right? No, that's this guy that we have completely ignored. Um, that's okay. We can we can easily take care of that. Uh, you are involved in another war. Sigh. This woman. This woman. Um, okay, so we've got we've got some troops here. Uh, we can just go ahead and uh, maybe mop up some of these before they get together. Capitals right there. We can just do what we did before. Uh, we can continue our attack on that guy up there, and then when they're done, load those troops up there. Boy, we are getting really good. Uh, we should be getting very good at fighting her wars for her. Vassal Inheritance Warning. I am not going to ignore this. Okay, you are... You're my heir, right? And um, what is the warning? On their death, titles may pass from our realm. A. Eh? Heir to the Roman Revolt. Okay, so that is what that's about. So as soon as we quash this revolt, that will be taken care of. In theory. All right, uh, yeah, you guys go ahead and attack them. Are you moving up a space? You are. How's this over here? Everything looks good. Fighting wars kind of on three fronts right now. Okay, he ran away, and that's going to be kind of inconvenient. Okay, that's just a siege. Hey! Okay, okay, let's uh, take a look at this here. Let's just kind of pause. We had a son. All right, so he is now my new heir. That is going to be taken care of. My wife, that is now her heir. He is a genius born in the purple. Oh, that makes me so happy. That makes me so happy. All right, uh, we'll put him down the thrift road. And uh, we will protect him. And now we definitely have a reason to try to keep all of this together. Um, let's see. Let's wait for this battle to finish. Should be pretty quick. We're going to gain just, and we're going to put you guys in the boats. That, uh, I don't know that I saw much of a war score change there, which is unfortunate. But we are doing a nice little job here of wiping out some of his troops before they can gather together. So hopefully that will uh, make this war a little bit easier. Whoa, that was a lot of folks. Um, can we get you guys in down here in time? I don't know how the amphibious assault. Looks like we're gonna be fine no matter what. But woo, that was uh, that was a little bit frightening. All right, let's take a look up here real quick and just see how things are going up here. Okay, we're at 91% with him, so I don't know if that was just kind of a delayed thing or what. But it's looking a heck of a lot better. All right, we're probably going to need these troops over here, so I'm going to go ahead and move the boats up in that general area. 
guys are moving forward. We're, we're trimming down some of these troops here. And I think I want to go ahead and get you guys moved over here and head towards sieging the capital because that seemed to help a lot. Somebody died. Who died? You died. My mother died. Okay, I, I noticed in the comments that uh, um, I'd had something where... Wait a minute. My mother, my father, okay. Gotcha. So my grandmother was the one that died and I missed earlier. She's a lunatic with lover's pox. She died in prison and I didn't notice. However, my mother has now died. She has lover's pox as well. <laughs> but uh, let's see. Does my wife have it too? No. Okay, so she's uh, she's good. Ah, uh, sad. Okay, it looks like um, he is getting his troops together. We caught a dude. Can we uh, go ahead and just ransom you off? We can. Let's see. Let's go ahead and do press the magic button again. Just to go ahead and get that trimmed down. How are we looking up here? Okay, that was that battle that we won. Let's go ahead and unsiege those. And uh, we're done 100%. Okay, let's go ahead and offer peace on that one. Get it nice and done. Then we can move our troops down here and go ahead and finish off this last one. Um... Let's see, let's go... Where is your king? That guy. Let's transfer vassalage of some of these guys over to you. Oh, is it doing that thing where we can't... Transfer these guys. We can transfer you. And I wonder if it's something to do... Well, it's not tribal because that guy was tribal. Um, okay, there's that guy. And I'm not seeing any more... Okay, there's that guy. I don't know... I don't understand why. It doesn't seem like it's consistent. Okay, so there are no more tribal vassals under here, at least that I can see. We've got this guy. Okay, so they're not tribal. That's why I couldn't find it. Well, that guy is. Um, old guy, woman. And that is just my land. Okay, let's, uh, let's see here. Well, we're at our uh, vassal limit. Let's uh, load the filters. Let's find a, a good, nice Roman guy over here. This guy, this guy looks good. Let's grant you, what is that? Starts with a V, that one right there. And let's see if we can get the rest of these guys over here. You? Yep. And you? Yep. And... This guy? Yes. All right, how is that? We're still missing a couple. Um, the guy with the haircut and these two tribal folks. And I swear they weren't showing up in the list, but it's like you do something and then randomly tribal people show up. There's haircut guy.
And I'm definitely not seeing the other two. All right. Um, all right, you're not under anybody. No, you're directly under me. You're directly under me. Oh, you're a new one. Um, let's put you under him, too. Her? And is this under me, too? No, he's just, like, independent. All right, well, that'll that'll work for now. Uh, we'll go and figure the rest of that out later. Now I just kind of want to continue this war and get it nice and over with. We're going to be able to go help her out. Doesn't look like it. Um, young woman. Maybe I could teach soldiers a thing or two. I think that makes her the marshal, so I don't really, not really interested in that. Seeing if I could tempt him to come and go for us. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to. Um, how are you doing troop-wise over here? Not very good. So I think our best plan of action is just going to be to continue to siege that there. Um, I may split you up and send you over there. We can get all of this taken care of. You are revolting against the king. Don't know that that's going to work out for you. Um, I wonder, is it a war thing? Is that why we can't transfer those? I bet that was it. But there's like a war thing going on. Well, hopefully the new king over there, or the old king with the new land will be able to take care of that. We can kind of focus our efforts down here. Gains the trait dull, loses the trait rowdy. Become brave. Might as well. Oh, uh, we need an ambition. We had a son. Uh, what do we want our ambition to be? Do we want to befriend a priest, make a friend, have five children, have no worries? I would like to get rid of that. Find a hobby, go traveling. Yeah, no worries. No worries. Get rid of that stress. I don't know if that will have something happen that that makes that makes stress go away. Um, is there any? Do we want to change our family focus? We have a son now. We don't need to focus that on anymore. What else would we do? Go for health. Health and martial. That might actually work out. We are going to be doing some warfare. That is for sure. We don't really need money. We have stewardship at a good level. Let's let's do that. Just get the health and the marshal. To our jail people. I don't know why we get warnings about our people in jail. Don't know what that's about. Seems like it's been that way for a while now, though. Just kind of keeping an eye over here every now and then so we don't get surprised by some huge stack. Like this 20,000 stack that's getting ready to merge together. Alright, we're starting to siege down the guy up there. Okay, are you coming to attack me? Kind of looks like it. Oh, you're getting you're getting quite a little force there. Okay, let's check our. Yep, we got some good got some good defenders there. Okay, let's go and help.
hope we can win this war before those reinforcements get in, and we don't, but we're still going to win anyway. And that's going to be a nice little jump of war score, hopefully. Yeah, about 20. That um, That is good. That is significant. We'll let that rest for a little bit. How's this going? We're getting ready to lose some more here, or to, to let some of these guys fall. King is taking care of this, it looks like. Eighty-one percent on that war. Yeah, I mean that's something. Uh, something definitely going to have to keep in mind that even though, <laughs> even though uh, we are at a pretty good place with these, uh, as far as troops and stuff are concerned, we're always going to have to worry about having another war going on over here. What was that about? Is that another? Yep. It's always the tyranny. She is... I didn't marry the nicest woman. Did not marry the nicest woman, that is for sure. Hopefully, uh, I think, you know, some of that stuff's going to carry around. All right, we ha we're done with this war. We can go ahead and take that. And I'm guessing we probably are not going to be able to... Oh, are you still considered a king? Can we take away your king title? No, that would be considered tyrannical. We can take away duchies, just not king titles. Um, let's see. Are you guys all under me? You are... Well, I mean, I'd rather not have two kings up here, but it looks like that is going to be the way it's going to be. So we're just, we'll just, we'll just deal with it. Um, you are Pictish. What is up with that? And it's not highlighting who you are. Why are you under me? That is the question. You're not like revolting or anything, right? No, so you should just be under him. Any reason not to do that? Not that I can think of. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. So this... You're all under him. Let's see who we have here. We have mullet guy. Bad haircut. Well, bad haircuts under the other king, right? Yes. Okay, just mullet and uh, and and shaggy here. Okay, there is mullet. And I don't see I don't see shaggy. There's these two guys, though. They do show up as... Who who are you? You're not somebody that... Is it is it like you over here? No, it's not you. All right. Is it this guy? No, that's a little boy. Hmm. Okay, so it's just it's just the little boy now that needs to go under you. Um, Shaggy was already underneath him, which is why I couldn't see him. Is it? Uh, you're Greek. You're you guys are the two that are up there. Is it him? Yes. Okay, now we can give those guys to you, and I think we want to go ahead and do that. And hopefully you will 
your king. I should have given I should have given all those guys to him and just let that king down there have one province and maybe he would take care of it in time. But uh, I already didn't do that already. So we'll just have another king up there and they will do whatever it is they do up there. Okay, so all these are taken care of. Let's get these troops on to this transport and we will get them down here to continue the fight down here. I don't want these guys to come together. Seeing this 8,000 stack on the way up here, it looks like they are going to try to get together and I do not want that to occur. So we are going to just see if we can't take care of some of this first. Being at sea a long time, am I at sea? Why am I at sea? Okay, I guess just just the act of coming over here and getting on the boat. Now, are these raiders? They're raiders. I don't have to worry about them. I mean, I could worry about them, but I'm choosing not to. All right, and we caught them even before they had a chance to attack. That's good. We can we can defeat them here and then just hang out on their capital. Provided we don't have any attrition. Yeah, you guys can just hang out. Yeah, I think she's kind of whittled through all her troops. I'm only seeing 3,000 for her. How many can you just raise, like, all day? 6,000? Yeah, that's probably why all these revolts are happening. Um, let's get you guys together. Those are my generals that I want. It's going to be a lot closer than I'd like. You going to come and help me? No, you're not. Woman. Woman, woman, woman. Could have helped. We decided not to. Let's see, where do we want to bring? Oh no, we don't want that to happen. That is for sure. Uh, yeah, cancel. Where are you guys running off to? Oh my gosh, they're gonna run all the way over there. The shattered retreat. All right. Well, the shattered retreat and the comeback will 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 allow allow some time for some of these guys to uh, basically restock the retinues to replenish and the mercenaries to replenish. I'm sorry, the legions. I think they probably replenish the same way. Um, special diet consisting of mostly fruit and vegetables in order to cure me of my scurvy. Sure, sounds great. All right, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. We got uh, England somewhat situated. Somewhat. Don't like having the two kings there, but uh, yeah, I wish I would have. I wish I would have given all those provinces to this guy and then just let him take care of that, that king down there because we have a guy down here that has some power that doesn't like us. Eh, it'll be fine. All right, thank you for watching. See you next time.